So after cleaning up the uh, 9133 drive, uh, as we saw in the previous video, I've gone ahead and vacuumed all the dust out of it. I've serviced the 3.5 inch floppy drive. It had the same issue with the slide load mechanism not working. That was lubricated, the heads were cleaned, and the unit was reassembled. And it's now hooked up to my HP 150. Uh, the hard drive itself is on HPIB port or device 0, and the floppy drive is on device 2. That's per the settings in the manual. I don't have the manual sitting here directly in front of me. Uh, there's lots of information in the service manual, etc. Actually, I do have it here. I found the service manual online, downloaded it, and, and printed and bound it. So anyhow, with that all said, let's go ahead and power the system up and see if we can boot from the hard drive. So, uh, a few things to note here is it come, as it spins up the CMOS, the battery for the CMOS settings on the HP 150 has failed. I've actually got the battery removed here. Sorry for reaching around. We can look at it quick while we're here. I don't know if you can see that, but it's leaked. Uh, reading up on this, the contacts the battery went to are on, actually on the video card in the HP 150. So I believe we're up. The red light's gone off there on the drive. And so the, the CMOS settings aren't saved, and I think that actually comes into play here computer's powered on, but my reading indicates that the system will attempt to drive from device 0 on HPIP, HPIB device 0, uh, which should be the hard drive in this case. So, once the system gets to the post here, it should in this configuration boot. So. Computer goes. Where's the buzzing? So default configuration used. That's because there's no battery backup. So it went to the default configuration for system settings. We see the hard drive light being accessed and the system is starting up. It's loaded device or DOS 211 in the background, and then I believe it'll start PAM here, which it's done. And so there it is. We successfully booted from the hard drive. So. So let's go ahead and boot the machine. The hard drive's already spun up. If I can find the power, there it is. Apologies for the video quality here. Uh, there's a lot of noise, it looks like, at the moment. Once it gets focused here, that'll clean up some. So it's, I can see the hard drive light flashing, so the system's booting. DOS has started. And it's in the PAM monitor. Part of what I'm chasing here is I've got the intensity on the monitor turned way down. And some of it still looks like saturating on the camera. But what you need to notice here is across the top it says reading all inserted disks to find installed applications. So this monitor goes out and looks at all your media and says what's on you. Are you installed in me? Can I uh, create a menu option for you? And this will sit here for quite a while before it finally times out. And I now understand what that timeout is. So let's let this get through the timeout. There it's timed out and done. So if we come in here and go to device configuration and bring up the configuration manager, this is essentially where you set up the CMOS on the machine. So we can see here that it thinks there's a printer installed by default. Uh, port 2, so serial port 2 for the list device, etc. Uh, but what becomes important here is down here. The A drive, as you can see there, right above where I've got the cursor, hopefully this is readable as an HPIB, address is 0, device is 0, and that is the hard drive we booted from. And right now it's got drive B is again HPIB or its address is 0 and that's actually address 2. Let's see if I can figure out how to increase that value. Uh, next choice looks like F3. So it's actually device 2. Uh, this needs to be a 0. So it's the first 
drive on address 2 is where that floppy actually is. So let's go ahead and save this. So let's see, exit config, I assume, or save config, it's on F4. It could also potentially be touching the screen up here. If I can get that to work. I don't know why it's clicking. And you may have saw there that it came back around very quickly to uh, you know scanning configured drives. I'm going to mount a floppy up on the B drive. And I'm going to hit reread disks. So it's F4. And it's accessing the B floppy now and it's done. So if, if you're playing with your machine and you're getting that really long pause while it's looking for installed applications, uh, CMOS settings seem to be the reason. So uh, I guess there is an, a quick example of booting from the hard drive, the 9133, booting successfully from it. I can say it earlier, the drive sounds healthy to me. Uh, everything appears to work. The floppy drive appears to work after I serviced it. So I'm pretty happy. This looks to be a functional 9133. So I think with that, we'll wrap this quick demonstration up. Uh, in a future video, we'll look at the uh, leaky batteries and try to get that cleaned up inside of the computer. Uh, we'll probably look at getting the 9121 floppies working at the same time as the 9133 and just kind of continue to progress here and play with the software and hardware and see where we get to. Anyhow, I'll wrap this up and we'll talk soon.